first problem I've got with building a guitar on a small printer is I can't fit a whole guitar on the printer. It's only that big. So I need to find a guitar that's a modular guitar that I can put together and print on here. So let's go and take a look on the computer. I went on to Thingiverse and I found a Telecaster guitar by Simon Traversi. This guitar was in eight okay. pieces. I, I printed it an orange wig <laughs> and then failed again by printing it too modular. This square piece was in other pieces and it just didn't fit. Anyway, we went for the third time Lucky Syndrome and it seems to be working okay now. Uh, I got fed up with the orange failing me and not sticking to the to the plate so I switched to green and that seemed to work really well it was really stuck down good once I got the pieces printed one by one slowly I uh, began to clean them up test fitted them together now these two pieces alone took 20 hours uh, the other pieces like these were about, th these were 12 hours to do t for the pair but the rest of them were about 8 hours each and yeah they stuck down really well now this is uh, the front part of the um, of the switch cavity um, we have to clean this off again see well stuck down, this one was only about 8 hours that one so that was a, quite a quick piece. So once we got all the pieces printed, we decided to test fit them together. And everything, to be honest, went together really well. I was very surprised. We just had the final piece to print, and then that fitted in fine. I used the Indigo Telecaster guitar with a removable neck that you could quite easily pick up from Amazon for around 69 to 79 dollars US. Uh, this guitar came, up, came apart really easily and it has the Telecaster bridge which I favoured for, uh, for a 3D guitar. It's got plenty of screw holes that hold the bridge down well but I also went with a string through body design as well. So here I'm just fitting the front pickup, well trial fitting it anyway making sure all the holes are in, making sure that the neck fits. It's a maple neck, um, four bolts to screw it on. I just had to make sure everything was fitted. To glue the body together, I used Gorilla Glue Clear. Now, this is a real strange glue. You've got to wet one side with some water and then spread the glue on the other side and put the two pieces together. I really wanted the strongest glue I could get hold of and Gorilla Glue comes top of the list for strong glues. They do the, the brown one but it um, the brown one expands. I didn't really want anything that expanded. I wanted it to be clear so that is it the main thing about the this guitar is, I wanted it to look like a 3D printed guitar. Like I didn't want it to, I didn't want to paint it or spray it wood or spray it brown or any colour. I wanted, that's why I like the actual orange and the green eventually. So we're gluing the middle, here we are gluing the middle bit. You see I have to put water, squeeze water onto one side of the, of the fitting. Yeah, strange. And then what we did was uh, I clamped the pieces together, which um, because this glue takes about two hours to dry, dries fully in 12 hours, I think. What I best do here is put a put a clamp across so that it's actually square with each other. And with that glued and fixed and dried. I began to glue all the uh, all the edge pieces on. I stick these pieces together, and then again, well, clean off clean off the debris of the of the glue. As you can see, the other glue joint is nice and clear now. But uh, we need to clamp it together again, and then wait 12 hours, well, until the next day. Each piece 
took 12 hours to dry. It took me a day. So I, I, I would just glue one piece, let it dry, and then glue the next piece into place. Let that dry, and then glue the next piece. It was a, a, a trial in patience, to be honest, gluing this thing together. As you can see, there's the holes there for the string through on the strings, and I've put the uh, the brass eyelets on the on the opposite side of the body. You're probably wondering what was the cost of the guitar. Well, it was really just the cost of the other guitar and twenty dollars worth of PLA. The 3D printer I got from Facebook Marketplace for around about eighty bucks, but I don't think you can incorporate that into the actual price. Another thing to note is that I used just the normal PLA plastic and I used a 50% infill. We're going to fit the electronics now. Uh, first we fit the bridge to the, to the body and the neck pickup. Both the wires run through holes that are generated in the body and when I took the other guitar apart we just um, I just snipped the wires <laughs> so so uh, the wires are color coded so it was just a matter of soldering them back together and then uh, using some sh uh, heat shrink just to just to hide the uh, the bare wire also I used a little bit you can't see it in this picture but I used a little bit of um, silver foil in the cavities just to stop some feedback which seemed to work. Jack plug was then fitted to the back of the guitar on the bottom using four screws. The same screws that came, all the same screws that are in this are the ones that came with the actual guitar. So it's a pretty simple uh, swap from one to the other. Then I fitted the neck and screwed the four screws in with the back plate on the other side of the of the 3D printed body. The neck went in great. I didn't use any any shims or anything on the neck. I just screwed it straight down to the body. When I was setting the guitar up, I had to set the bridge saddle slightly higher to clear the back of the neck as the body seemed a little bit lower than it was when it was on the Telecaster guitar. But this all sort of fitted quite well actually, so I was really happy with that. The intonation was exactly the same as the other guitar because I had set the bridge the same length away from the 12th fret. And then it was just a matter of tuning the guitar up, hoping it didn't snap in two on me, and then time to test it and see if it played. Surprisingly, it did. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching me screwing around with this silly guitar project, just drop me a like or a comment. And It was really interesting doing this guitar, and just the fact that I could print it on a little 20x20 20 20 printer pretty much astounded me, to be honest. Thank mm -hmm. you.